Hello tankers and tankettes, welcome to another of my replays, and it's my 82 Ace Mastery game. I've been doing one or two Ace Mastery games recently, and this just was, uh, well, you'll have seen in the other video, um, the, the recent one I did, the live commentary with tank destroyers, I actually played this thing, and I believe I mentioned in that that I'd sold my Cromwell, um, Cromwell? Churchill gun carrier. Yeah, that, that that's very nearly the same tank, right? And I'd stuck the crew in this thing, I'd rebought this, partly to do a review of it at some point, and also just because it, it's a fun machine. So, yeah, this was actually either the first or second battle I had after rebuying it, and it's my Ace Tanker game, so it went rather well. And I just decided to muck around, so I basically put the derp gun on it. 3.7 inch howitzer, which is, um... It, it, it's not the biggest derp gun in the game by any means, not not by a long way, but it's not bad. It, it's better than the three inch howitzer ones, which are about, what, 76 mil derps? This is like a 94 mil derp, which is obviously quite a bit less than the um, 122 mil that the KV-1 gets, or the 105 mils that the, um, the Germans and Americans get, but still, it's not bad. And when you've got the armour to sit there and take some punishment, you can have fun with this thing. It's probably... Actually, if you're in a tier 5 match, as this is, the 6 pounder gun is actually the better gun. But, hey, this is a derp gun, and who doesn't love a derp gun? So I'm slowly trundling my way towards the enemy. This is the new encounter mode on uh, the map that I've temporarily forgot the name of. Mountain Pass, there we go. And I, yeah, I, I prefer so far starting in the place where we did start, but it kind of depends. It, it's kind of a weird encounter mode because you can either start on on, on, you know, the team I started on, you're sort of split up, but the other team, you start where you start, you're actually effectively surrounded from the get-go, which is not much fun. Oh, nope, someone else got them before I did. So, I'm I'm not convinced about this particular mode yet. Anyway, sniping with the dirt. It's total, total legit, you guys. Total legit. Actually, these days it pretty much is. So I know I can basically stand some punishment at this distance. Um, I'm just... I don't want to get too close, actually, because that could... Um, it's a mere 100 damage, but hey, derp guns are never exactly reliable. Not this derp gun, anyway. I know I can... I, I, I'm going to do best if I can keep them at a distance, because if I get up close, they're going to have a really easy time hitting my commander's cupola. So, uh, yeah, you, you want to close the distance, but the fact that it's a slow tank works in your favour in this particular circumstance, because the, the, yes, there's enemy artillery, which is a slight worry, but given where the enemy artillery actually started off, I don't have to worry about getting hit by him. My main worry at the moment is, in fact, the f that I'm going to go round this corner and be nearly face to face with a BDR. Except the BDR has nice, you know, very nicely for me. He's actually gone down, so I don't have to worry about him at all. And at this point, I was thinking, okay, we're going to capture. Uh, just, I'll do. I'll have done barely any damage, and we'll have won the game, and that'll be that. Because that's how it happens sometimes, especially with a slow tank and a slow tank with a. a, a an unreliable derp gun. Look at that, two seconds to spare, they've actually interrupted the cap. So there's the enemy arty. Can I arty him myself? Maybe? Oh, I couldn't even one-shot an artillery. Oh, that's how unreliable this derp gun is. But occasionally it's hilarious. I have to say, it's very, very good for doing criticals against, for tracking people and that sort of thing. Now, the fact that they've gone down there, the people that were capping have all backed out the cap, basically. Oh! Now, this is ideal. This is... This is, um... Stationary targets. People just... Uh, <laughs> one shot. People just not moving. And I... Oh, it's just... Oh, okay, he... he how dare he? He was going to move and then he stopped, which is when you're trying to aim ahead of somebody. <laughs> yep, open top vehicle. <laughs> Boom. And suddenly I've gone from like 110 damage to 
eleven hundred and ten, you know, whatever. Oh, just you sit still there. Nice. So many criticals. You do, you just kill tracks and drivers and gunners and fuel tanks and you just kill all the things. Four damage, but I've tracked him. Yeah, the good side of this um, what, this particular derp is that the shells don't really seem to bounce and you get that with some derps that... <laughs> the shells will just sometimes bounce all over the place and you don't want that. So it's now 13.11, it's actually come down to quite a close... Um, I've not actually taken any damage at all yet. <laughs> it's just... This is why I like this this tank with the derp gun. It's horribly unreliable, but just sometimes absolutely hilarious. So, there's an AT2 up top on the bridge area somewhere. The damaged BDR is... he's in the cap. And I'm just checking that the AT2 isn't going to come far up from the side, but uh, yeah, it, it just depends. Now, the BDR has got a nasty gun. He can potentially kill me in three shots. And there's no guarantee I could kill him in three shots, but there's two of us, and, uh, well, it's moot anyway, KV-1 kills him. So, here we go, enemy AT-2. KV-1's a bit wary, and he is also a derp AT-2. Oh, and see how I said these shells never bounce? Well, actually, sometimes they do bounce. <laughs> uh, our M4 has got him occupied, so, uh, <laughs> yep, it's a derp, that accuracy. This is going to maybe take a while, but the 82 doesn't actually have many hit points, which is fortunate for me, because I only need to, you know, it might take a few shots, but I just need to chip away, and uh, if, it, if it comes to that, we can cap, because obviously driving all the way up there to get this guy is going to be a tremendous pain in the bum, but I can do this. I can perma-track him. He's, he's a bit incautious. He didn't pull back very far, so I just keep shooting here, basically. A little bit of damage, tracking him every single time. He can't get away now. The M4 may get to do the may, may get the kill at this rate, but on the other hand, maybe he won't. Now everyone else, look, look, they're just they're desperately trying to, and I'm the only one doing any damage against this guy. <laughs> so, this is... I might actually get this kill, which would be nice, because, you know, Top Gun. Top Gun is always nice. Top Gun with this derp is even nicer. <laughs> 15 damage. But again, he's tracked. Nearly 2k damage now. Still haven't taken a scratch myself. And there we go, he's dead. Six kills. <laughs> that was not bad. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it is, like I said, a horribly unreliable gun. I would only recommend taking it out for the lols, but in this case, it actually... I had a little bit of luck there, and the rest of the team was adequate enough, but that, that was 2k damage. That was my Ace Mastery game. I took no damage myself. Top Gun, Steel Wall, and uh, if you look at the damage count on the team, I by far and away was doing the most damage of anyone at all. I, <laughs> I did um, over twice as much as the next the next most um, the, the person with the next most damage, which was the KV-1. And it just, yeah, you cannot you cannot predict a result or you cannot plan for a result like that, but it just worked out perfectly and it was kind of hilarious because it's one of those matches where you just thought, oh, okay, I'll do 200 damage and the match will be over and that'll be that. And instead I walked away from it with my ace tanker badge, so that's always nice. Anyway, if you enjoyed this replay, derpy though it was in nature, you can hit the like button, you can subscribe to my channel, you can go check out my Facebook page, and of course, as always, stay tuned for more.